Yo, what's the deal, y'all? Welcome back to another episode of Daily Deposits. For those of you that don't know, X2 is now offering a new online One Plus One program, and we're constantly updating it with new content. If you want to become a client, all you got to do is click the link down below in the description. Oh, and by the way, it's on sale. So on this episode, I'm gonna give you guys a behind the scenes look of how we shoot the X2 content. First, we're gonna turn on this light because lighting is everything, but we're also gonna shoot another episode of Daily Deposits for you guys right now. But before we get started, make sure you guys bang that like button, subscribe, and click the bell to stay up to date for the latest workouts. So, as you guys see, we are now in the studio. Okay, I have my mat set up and my dumbbells. We're gonna use dumbbells again. I'm actually gonna switch out my shoes. I got on my Ugg slippers because I don't really wear shoes in the house. If you guys didn't catch the last episode, just a quick little recap. It was a total body movement workout emphasized on pulling. So today will be total body, but we'll emphasize on pushing. That's kind of like how I like to curate my workouts, get the most out of my workout in the shortest period of time. And that's what we're gonna do here today. So first I'm gonna switch out these shoes and then we'll get started. All right guys, we're all set up here. As I said, you'll need dumbbells again for today's workout. I got a yoga mat here just because I don't like laying on the floor. Okay, so very similar to our last workout. We'll have six movements today. Again, because we're working with weight, the time has been condensed to 35 seconds of work, 25 seconds of rest. One round should be five minutes and 35 seconds. So we should have a nice 20 minute workout once this is all complete, okay? So the first movement we have is an inchworm to the world's greatest stretch, followed by some plate breakdowns. Then we'll roll over to our back we got some glute bridge, dumbbell chest presses. We'll then hop up to our feet. We'll lose one of the dumbbells. We got a dumbbell goblet, one and a half squat. Pick the other dumbbell back up. We got forward alternating lunges. And then we'll complete it with some dumbbell squat to press, which will be a total body movement for us. So let's just go ahead and get right into it. Just like our other episodes, I'm gonna run through this workout with you guys. So you guys know exactly what it looks like, the tempo you should be working at, and just how it should be done. Let's just get right into it. I got my timer already set up. I'm looking forward to it. I know this is gonna get our heart rate up. You should sweat quite a bit doing this workout. I doubt it'll be easy. All right, let's just go ahead and get into it. So I'm gonna start at the back of my mat. Inchworm. I'm gonna roll down to my feet. All right, and I'm gonna inch myself out to a plank position. Bring one right foot up, open up for the world's greatest stretch. Switch the feet, open up for the world's greatest stretch. Walk the hands back to the feet and repeat. All right, so this movement is a great total body warm up. All right, hip mobility, shoulder mobility, loosening everything up, getting ready to work. As you guys know, I like to start with mobility just to get the body warm and loose and ready to go. So you can speed it up if you want as you start to warm up. We'll move on to the next movement, which will be plank breakdowns. So I curated the workout to kind of go upper, lower, total. All right, so, or excuse me, so we'll start mobility, upper, lower, and then finish it off with total. All right, so starting here in the plank position, I got plank breakdowns. We're gonna alternate between breakdown from the right first, then the left first, okay? Starting here in the plank position, breaking down, coming up. I lay with the, the right, now coming back with the left. So I'll alternate sides. All right, this is a core conditioning movement. Everything should be engaged here at core. Glutes, my butt should be down. Whew. Yeah, you should feel this. Whew. As I said, core conditioning will be emphasis on this one. All right, but our triceps are getting an enormous amount of work. Whew. And that core is starting to burn. Whew. Sheesh. Whew. Feeling that one. All right, we're gonna roll over. Glute bridge, dumbbell chest press. As you can see, my heart rate is getting up. I'm starting to breathe a little bit harder. I knew that as I was right in the workout. Ooh, let's see. 120 on heart. Uh, heart rate is at 120. Bridging up. Let's get it. All right, so I want to keep my bridge high. All right, by squeezing those glutes, keeping those hips up, and controlling this weight. Now, this weight is the weight that you've been using for all movements. So if it gets lighter and you want more work, just slow it down. More time under tension. Creates an opportunity for more muscle growth. If that's what you're looking for. All right, but you can obviously bang these reps out. Resting. Sheesh. 
All right, next up, we'll stand up. We'll lose one dumbbell for now. We got one and a half goblet squats, okay? So just holding the dumbbell out in front of us in the goblet position is gonna require a lot of core work. All right, and your biceps are gonna get some work in this too. All right, so we're gonna squat down, come up halfway, pause, back down, and up. Down, up halfway, pause, and back up. Notice this, my butt is going down on my squat. My chest is staying up. I'm maintaining my core integrity. My position is upright the entire time. As I said, just holding this dumbbell here in this position, in this goblet position, it's working the core tremendously, as well as my glutes and my quads in this movement. Sheesh. Whew. Thought I was playing, I'm already sweating, fam. I'm already sweating. It's only round one. Oh shit. God bless y'all, my heart rate is at 150 right now. All right, 10 seconds, we're going alternating forward lunges. Okay, so don't both dumbbells in hand this time. All right, stepping out, we're lunging, coming back, alternating sides. All right, as we lunge, I want our chest to stay up. All right, and I never want to see that knee falling over those toes. All right, think about a straight line from your knee down to your ankle. Okay, 90 degrees. Try, to let, try not to let that back knee touch the ground. Hover right above it. This is where control is gonna come into play. Okay, again, keeping that chest up, banging these things out. Ooh, sheesh. Oh. All right, we're approaching our last movement of the circuit. Dumbbell squat to press. Okay, I'm almost hitting it with the Arnold, uh, an Arnold press. All right, because I really want to work the entire shoulder. So I'm going to start here and on my, on my press, I'm going to rotate up. All right, so we're pressing up. Think about bringing your biceps by your ears. Let's get it. Now, as I said, it's the same weight we're using for everything. So it may be a little bit heavier here on these squat to presses. So take your time, run your race. You got three more rounds to go. It will get ugly, it will get challenging. All right, as we're pressing up, making sure our core is tight, our glutes are engaged at the top, ensuring that we're not arching that back. We're pushing those weights straight up. We're completely owning the movement. And time, resting, great effort. Sheesh. Good shit, y'all. That's round one. We got three more to go. As you can see, my heart rate is up. You use this opportunity to get your 60 seconds of rest but for this round, you can watch the duration of this video, get your rest, and as soon as it's over, start back up again. Okay guys, thanks for joining and seeing exactly how the X2 content is captured. Those six movements right there are on the house, but if you want more workouts like this that are customized just for you, be sure to check the description below. Oh, and by the way, I don't know how I failed to mention this, but you also receive a life coaching FaceTime call once a week from me on my boat. Now, I know things have been difficult with this quarantine, so don't worry if you can't become a client today. There are other ways that you can support my content. Head over to my new Patreon page where there are incentives if you decide to support me and my channel. Link is in the description. Also, merch is on the way, so be on the lookout for that. I know you want some of these. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram at omar.bolden. And as always, if you enjoyed the video, bang that like button, comment what workout you thought was the best, Subscribe and ring that bell so you can start making some daily deposits. And on that note, we out.